Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, last time that we left off, we went into Valentine with Bill, Karen, and Lenny, and we broke into the and we robbed the bank there. So we've done that mission. After that, we went to Colter. We got our white Arabian horse, which I'm super happy about. Uh, it's a lot easier than I thought actually to to kind of get. It didn't always. It didn't turn up straight away. It took us a little while to find it, but we got it in the end. Uh, after that, we then went with Micah and Dutch to try and parlay with Colm. Colm or Driscoll, but we ended up getting kidnapped instead. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're up to in the gameplay so far, guys. If you guys are ready, let's jump back into it. Right, we're just going to head over to... There's a mission for, for us to go and see Bill. So I'm going to head over there to him. I think they're in the saloon. Yeah. I know you guys probably think the string looks a little bit different, but I probably will change it back or change it again at some point. Just I had to move. I, I'm playing on a monitor now. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I bought a new monitor, so we're playing on a monitor instead of my TV. So it's a bit more, I'm a bit more closer to the action. So I had to move, uh, move my, move my room around a bit. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. That... Why did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Is he shaking his head or is that just a glitch? That's not a glitch. We're stuck in the his head is just shaking but instead of playing continuously. Sides, we're so. used by both of them. They were saying the was he shaking his head? Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh! Sean! The fuck? Motherfucker, we lost Sean! Oh, nice. I can't believe we lost Sean! Come on, with the old dead eye. Yeah, he got shot in the head, man. Ooh. How could you not think this was a trap? Oh. You sure you want to talk about this now, Morgan? You see a way out of here? Oh. All right, now. Come on. They got us pinned in good. This whole town, if I have to. <laughs> I'm good at Oh, where's that guy? Oh, in? Guys, run my way. See him shooting out the back. Well, I'm gonna get my shotgun out. I'm trying to walk again then. Oh. Oh. 
trying. I couldn't get through that door. Oh, he's, he was telling me there was like a little yellow thing on the map. Come on. Nice. I thought we wanted me to go in there. Need to uh, take cover. <laughs> Let's just get in there. Get in there. Get in. I need a remedy. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, you fucking idiot. Damn it. Who was telling me to go in that one where the highlighted bit was? Uh, let's try that. I can't believe we lost Sean. Mate, I cannot believe Sean is dead. Undercover! Why did he stand up? Oh, mate, this is. Hurry! What we need to do is kill some of the people first. Otherwise, we ain't going nowhere. I don't think he's going to pick the lock right now. Nice, get the shotgun. Oh, shot him through the till. <laughs> nice. You're getting sloppy, Morgan. Fuck you, Micah. Mate, we are sitting ducks in here. Why does he get up out of cover? You sure about that? <laughs> Take out the graves might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for loot. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. Come on. Yes. Always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? Where's the thing for the dead eye? Up for the call. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be soon. See that? So hard for me to find stuff. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. 
Sheriff Gray. And what about oh, the my. We'll find him later. Come on. That was hard. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. <laughs> Mm. Is that Sean now? Where's Sean, man? We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Grey's town. Always has been, mm. always will be. Only Grey's I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? Yes. We'll come out. Oh, he's got Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you. Don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Oh. Nice. Nice. Man, I thought I had to fucking dead eye all of them. Oh, Sean, man. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, <laughs> take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my son, mm. pair of fools. Damn, I can't believe we lost Sean. Fucking hell. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Right. Let's have a look. Let's see. Satchel, that's what I wanted. I want to have a look in the journal. I always forget how to get it out. Surely there's a quicker way of doing it. Uh, let's read. Comal Driscoll slipped through our fingers once more and I saw my own life slip through mine. That gentle buffoon we kidnapped up in the mountains took us to a cabin. We were planning to kill Colm, but he had just gone elsewhere. We shot a bunch of his boys and one was about to end my life when Kieran shot him. This feud is bled out from Dutch and Calm's mutual hatred into loathing that permeates all of us and all of them. Still, I found quite a shotgun in the cabinet. I've read that bit yet. Yeah. Horseshoe Overlook. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Jose even more. He's kind and fair and like a human being. Dutch is something else. This beer was also something else. Size of a god. Damn hotel. It was. And was it a mean. Was it?
Valentine. Yeah, that's from ages ago. Clemens Point. What problems have befallen us more run in Leviticus Cornwall, the oil, sugar, rail, and greed merchant who we robbed a while back had us ambushed in Valentine's? Seems he has added to the price on our heads. We shot our way out of town and narrowly escaped with our lives. The only amusing aspect of the horror was her Strauss getting grazed and acting like he... Preparing for his short trip down to hell. After this, we fled the country and headed even further south, south and east, camping by a lake. This is pretty much new country for me. Charles and I saved the family of Germans who were in the process of getting themselves killed. He's a better man than me. He does not need to think to be good. It comes naturally to him. Like right. Deep is deep within as opposed to this conflict between good and evil that rages within me. If only we had fled out of Blackwater. We we could be free now. Out out where we belong beyond civilization with the savages and the animals. Here we won't ever be at home. Is that is that, is that Sadie? Oh, it's Sadie Adler, I think it is. Um, Miss Adler, the widow we rescued a while back, might be the craziest one of us all. She fights like a cornered polecat with a rage and bloodlust that frightens the hell out of me. I ever get on her wrong side, I'm a dead man. I don't intend to. She's a fine woman, amusing and good-hearted. A decent and angry and decent and angry I took her shopping to stop her what's that filleting filleting old Pearson right in the camp after we got jumped she went insane and showed she can kill the best of us Rhodes so it turns out we're all We'll hold up outside a town called Rhodes, deep in Cotton County. The place has not recovered from the war, and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which most of them are angry still, perhaps for other reasons, adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputise ourselves into the local law enforcement. <laughs> Clements Point have already taken down a major bounty on their behalf, but mostly to rescue rescue slippery old Trelawney. Mad gotten himself arrested for some of his unusual nonsense. Seems like there's a long running blood feud between the old families here, two old families here. And both Dutch and Jose, I believe, they may be sitting on a lot of gold. Well shall we shall see, I guess. Rhodes Parlour House. Deputy Sherry. Sheriff. Can't even read right now. Deputy Sheriff. Finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized, deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy working on working for the alcohol drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshine. Dutch is convinced this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Greys, ex-Scots, is warring, is warring with another. Proud English family, the Braithwaites, like some long-running dispute from the border country. Apparently there's, apparently there's gold or woman or something at the root of this. And if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so 
entirely lost ourselves. I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their like a long while to find us. And they're like a long while to find us. We shall see. In the meantime, a new career path in law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Braithwaite Manor. Moonshine, I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, a mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. A sour old jug of piss and bullshit. I ain't never met even Hosea's charms. I ain't never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Jose put on quite a show until until we got interrupted by the bastards who robbed when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard grey boy, Bo. Yeah, we haven't read this for a while. This is uh, quite a lot here. Clement's point. And his forbidden love. Miss Penelope, quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching I'm marching as a suffragette. suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader and Mrs. Carlhorn amused me. I don't know how I don't know much about good causes, nor for the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. The world is certainly changing fast. We went horse thieving, Reed getting getting the better of us, believed a yarn spun us by one of that grey family, the Patriarch Davish, a particularly unpleasant one of what seems reasonably unpleasant family. He had us believing that the Braithwaite woman owed, owed, some, owed some highly prized English thoroughbreds or Arab charges or whatever they were supposed to be, and we imagined we... was going to be wonderfully rich at the end of it. We felt like prize idiots, so I guess at least some prizes were being handed out. Man, I have not read this for ages. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and a means to get into us. The whole thing turned nasty and he'd been treated pretty bad. But we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake, so came back to camp with us. There always seems to be more bounty hunters, Pinkertons, Mutlawmen. Everywhere we go is more and more civilization. Perhaps this is from this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. That's a bit of a weird thing to put on. Stumbled into this old drunk on the streets of Rhodes. Don't don't know quite why he made an impression. The world is full of self-pitying drunks. Hell, I hope to grow into my into one myself. But something about this fella, Jeremiah Compson, blamed everyone else for his plight. Lost his career and home. Wanted me to go and find a few trinkets at his home, Comston Steed, just north of Scarlet Meadows. Maybe I'll head over there sometime. Yeah, I remember that. That was the slave. The slave runner. Yeah, went to his house. Went to his house. Don't feel so bad for him now. Went like a feel like a fool. Bastard was a slave catcher. Went to see 
Nice Mr. Compton again. Burned his burned his valuable ledger right in front of his eyes. <laughs> I've been recuperating after interesting encounter with Conwell Driscoll. Dutch got into his mind, got it into his mind to meet the bastard to somehow end all this lunacy. Only Com did not share Dutch's sense of honor amongst thieves. The whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then lure all of the rest of us into a trap so we could get arrested and Com could disappear it away. Us somehow carrying off his sin. Along with, our, along with our own in the gallows, seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world, modern world even less than we are. More by luck than judgment, I escaped and somehow got back here, more dead than alive. I collapsed into a bed with a, for a few feverish days after much nursing from Miss Grimshaw and Miss Tilly, and much guilt-ridden apologies from Dutch over his stupidity. I survived. Okay, my shoulder, where I was shot. Ain't come down with gangrene, and I will live, even if I've lived there before. Thing, things is getting even more insane with the local populations. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaite's have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Whatever else, whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the aristocracy Arist that's a weird word to say that is yeah Sean man I cannot believe that that's got to be it nearly Sean has been killed I'm more sad than I can admit I love that little loud mouth wretch more than I knew he was like an annoying little brother to me what fun we had riding together now he's dead. His head shot half off in an ambush. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Still no confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. <laughs> I think that's all it. Wow, man, I didn't have... I hadn't read that in so long. I think he does kind of narrate it a little bit. So, I think he just narrated that, so... It is interesting to read that. And I know you guys... I've asked or told me to do that, so I had to tick that off the list. Right, let's see what we can do now. Map. Wow, there's nothing going on. Where is it? What's that? Who is that? Dutch Vandalin. Go back and see if there's any other. I think there might have been a side mission up here, but we got. To... We'll do those when we're that way right let's head over to Dutch tell him about Sean that horse is beautiful though. I must admit, it's definitely a lot better playing on something that's a bit closer. Where I was on the TV, I, I was like, looking each corner is so far away. Still hasn't made me any better, but okay, girl. At least it's a bit more close. Right, let's go see Dutch. Yeah. Oh. See what he has to say for himself. Whoa. Hazy old day. Oh, that's wicked. Clement's point, home sweet home. Yeah, easy. I know you worry. 
Oh, don't tell me Jack's gone missing. We have everybody looking. We will find Yeah, I think Jack's gone missing. <laughs> Damn it. We'll find him. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh, like Kieran oh really? Saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! Oh, we just on? heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Oh, yeah. No, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's go. Oh, it's getting dark now. Okay. I went dog quick. Let's go get that boy back. Figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Oh, yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. Mm. We have to focus on Jack. Little Jack, Jack, we gotta get him. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. But we are getting him back and they will pay. I want to run up I front. promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. It's not letting I me run up front. To you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. A drawback? Another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. This game is just... Stunning. It's so moody with this weather. Okay, right get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Yeah. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. I want to get a gun out. <laughs> Anyone who's got a gun out, I'm just... I know. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Hey, this is a good look at the silhouette, lot. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Mm -mm. This is gonna... Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. 
What is going on here? Hold oh, on. Mate, we are screwed right now. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh, come on. I can't even control the dead eye right now. Mate, I can't swaying all over the place right now. Why is he swaying about all over the place? That's because the. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Picking out this. The sniper was a good idea. <laughs> oh, that was a poor shot. Huh? A Dutch. Oh man, this is just running really weird. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! 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 You in here? Me? It's gonna be upstairs. Jack! <gasps> oh, scared the crap out of me. Nice one off man. It's so intense, I love it. Where did you say the one's barricaded? It's gonna be this one. Oh, Mom. <laughs> yeah, run. Let's run away into that room. Come on, this You find another way? Again. Oh, it's probably that never saw the door. Okay, my bad. 
was it? Oh, this way. What? It's gonna be a dead ass situation, isn't it? Oh, I nearly fucked that up. <laughs> Where's the boy? In the box. No. no. no, no. Uh, uh, you want me to kill you? Oh too, damn! Woman. You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know mm -hmm. your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Mm -mm. This game is kid brutal. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. On the way, just says that. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boy, short jacket in here. We searched everywhere. No, I bet he's in here. Oh man, they're burning it down already. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Get over here. Damn. If Jack's in here, we are screwed. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are pickle. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? In the house. My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint-Denis. Saint-Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> oh, damn. Is she going back inside? <laughs> damn, this is like a movie. That was good, that was. It's going to work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. <laughs> Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place mm. ain't no such thing. 
as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. Are we going Came to St. Dennis? For me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. Mm. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Mm -hmm. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Mm -hmm. What now? We get out of here. Yeah. And quick. Any ideas? St. Dennis. I know a big old oh. house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. It is. I'm sure they'll find us eventually. Never been that way. A few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny. Go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. Hey. Come on, John. This is crazy. It's out of me. Let's go, girl. Follow me. I know the way. Right, let's uh, get the map off. Shady Bell. Damn. I don't know. Right. Yes, get some music on the go. I was telling him he's going that way. I always go that way. Never ride out of the right way. There we go. That's it's it. Gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. Oh, we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. Mm. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Size of his horse compared this. to mine. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families? It's gonna be trouble. Master Boy, it's gonna Con be trouble. Men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. <laughs> right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Don't get too far in your head with all this. You 
You'll never get out. Mm. It's a goddamn mess. I'm so enjoying this game. So enjoying it. Let's go a bit faster now. There's no talking. My headphones are being pulled so straight. So much. I need to get some new headphones. The ones on a longer hold. This life, he didn't. Mm. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, <laughs> part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. In this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. As soon as we get Saint the Denis. others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Plenty found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts. Which one was that now? Left. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. I'm trying All to think right. where that was now. Should be just down this path to the left here. Now, I was saying, shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard hmm. that before? Yeah. So we're going to be staying in a house. Oh, this place here, I remember. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Oh. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Yeah, let's make this place our own. That'd be nice. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Give me going out. Man. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Oh, well, I'm going in alone. Hmm. It's now turning into a horror game. Sure. Cover transition. What does that mean? Like it just comes out. Yeah, I'm trying to see around the corner. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come at me. I dare you. 
I'll make sure. Didn't you get the message last time? I'll make sure there's none down here. In this little bit. Did I scare? Did I get him? Try him, but I don't think he's dead though. Nice. This is an adjoining room, isn't it? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. The bounty hunters. Who's that? The freedmen. The carpet beggars. Who the fuck was that? He was just chatting away to himself. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Come on. There is he Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> There's loads upstairs, don't know. I pull that. Hurry up! This feller's getting heavy. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. I'm oh, mate. We're gonna be here by ourselves, and then. Was there one? Did I have one? Here? I thought I had one. Oh, you got the one from down there. Man, I'm gonna carry this seriously while I heard a voice though. He's out of breath carrying this body. If I open this door, there's, there's gonna be someone here. What is that noise? Oh, there we go. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, there we go. I didn't think it was going to make me do all of them. Here we go. Oh, alligators, is that what I was? Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Dodge. Can I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Where are we going to, Dodge? Can you believe that, girl? All I 
I've got going on. And she wants to talk. She wants to talk. Yeah, you need to talk Everything to her. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world. Saint Denis. Saint Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Okay. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Ocean? The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Saint Denis. Indeed. Okay, there she is. So we've been here once before. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure oh, out. Oh, damn. <laughs> Where are we heading to first? Or is this the next chapter? <gasps> chapter 4, Saint Denis. New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and St. Denis Stables. Okay, let's have a look at the map. There's a few bits on there. Dutch needs you to ask around in public places for information on Angelo Bronte. So, well, let's just head over there. Welcome to St. Denis. Mate, this place is weird compared to like... Out of the damn way! <laughs> compared to where we've just come from, this is like... Mad. How do you... Has anyone seen... Gavin? Anyone seen Gavin? Didn't I? I'm sure we had a mission where I heard him. <laughs> I swear that guy was in the other town looking for Gavin.
Hats, caps, and furs. Ah. Oh, where, where on earth do we um? Should ask in the local saloons. Ah. My bad. Can I hitch my horse here anywhere? Hello. Hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, stick him up, cowboy. Who's that? Is it Dodge? Yeah, I knew it was Dodge. I could tell by his voice in his hand. I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard. This establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Who are we asking in there? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, everyone's just looking at us. Yeah, that's right, you turn around. That is clever though. I I say, that's the like. of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. Uh, hello? I'll get you in a second. No, you get me now, mate. Let me tell you something. The rest of the states they look at Over have. here. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Yeah. Now. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Yes, I'm a whiskey man. So do I have a whiskey? Why is it just glitching out right now? I just pressed whiskey and it's not doing nothing. I can't even. I can't even move. Oh, guys. Ridiculous. I can't even move right now. Why can't I press no button? I can't press no button. Why did that take so long? My God, how long did that take? Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. That g probably glitched out just then. Bronte? Angelo Yes. Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Mm. He makes my skin quar. I'm so squally a cocksucker. Mm. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find them? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. I love the different accents in this game. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Right, where are we going now? Where the hell are we going? I'll get out of there. Do you mean outside or no idea where he means? Have a little quick look up here.
I mean, don't know. Kids in the alley. Really stairs down. That's stairs. That's not stairs. It's going to be a drop in it. Oh, it's stairs. Kids in the alley. Do you mean this lot? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Courtyard on the left. And she was pointing this way. What does she mean so down there? Done with the silent treatment now? No. What are these two talking about? There we go. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? <laughs> Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, my bread. Here. <laughs> Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Yep. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. I've oh, been there once before, Vin. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. No. <laughs> We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. Mister. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Oh, he's pickpocketing them. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Where did he go? He's coming after us. You better stop right now. How the fuck? Oh, I've got to get the lasso out. I'm going to get that bloody lasso out because I'm going to get that little kid. Oh, he's getting on the. Bye, mister. <laughs> oh, no, sort of. That literally. That sped up. That is bullshit. You give that back. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, the shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Bob. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. My move. You better stop right now. Hey, moron! Somebody got on the back of a fucking thing. I ah! damn it! It's like it's like a naughty dog section. Oh yes, yeah, jumped over. Oh, I didn't need to jump over that side. Mom. Is he gone? Stop 
acting like that? You're right back, ah! old man. Oh man. Just give it up, farm boy. Just give it up, kid. Out of my way. This means nothing, by it. What is the matter with you? I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Stands forever. I read it in the newspaper. Oh, oh Mike, how are we gonna find him in there? So they tell you your dog's a cat now. Oh man! I like you. Come on. This is getting on my nerves. Yeah, just smash for it. Oh, oh, kitchen. What's the problem? Oh, man? you gotta be serious, mate. Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, mm. but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking oh. questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Oh, that kid is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Mate, that guy is so annoying. Come on. Morning, partner. Morning. Put that way. Shut up. Good morning. Morning. Where did bloody always touch right now? We ran so far. Let's see where he's on the map. You wait till we tell Dodge we got hustled by some kids. <laughs> Where's Dodge? Yo, Dodge. Oh, there he is. Is that him sitting over there? See? Over here. It's so. I love that. Spotted him and then it's just like the AI to wave. To Where are wave you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. That's funny. <laughs> I won't inquire. <laughs> but I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. Another one for the journal, I suppose. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Right. 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to end that episode there, otherwise it's going to stretch on super long. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, give it a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.